Hello, I'm Benson and welcome to my channel. It's you and I. Today I'm really excited to show you this CCTV system and it's from Arlo um, Pro 3. I got it from Amazon for £749.99. Now I didn't pay for it myself. I'm part of the Amazon Wine program. So I'm the selected few where they sent out free products for testing. I can give them good review or bad review. It wouldn't affect the outcome because they give it to me for free from Amazon and not from the manufacturer. So hopefully that won't be biased against this video. I always wanted a CCTV camera from them because it's completely wire free. So the camera is actually operated by batteries and they're rechargeable. So every so often you do need to recharge them, but that saves you so much time and effort on installation. Now, the only reason why I don't have a multi-camera system at the moment in my home is because I'm too lazy and I'm not sure if I'm competent enough on the ladder to install camera with a wire. So you need to have power, either 12 volt or a main running around the maybe outside wall to the cameras where you want to install. So I want one kind of obviously in the front of the house, I want one at the camera kind of pointing to my studio at the back or even at the studio at the back. This system, although it's expensive, but it will save you a lot of money because you don't need to send anyone in to install it. You should be able to do it yourself. My channel is all about showing you the product that your money can buy. There's no fancy graphics or selling the product. I'm not here to sell you the product. I'm here just to show you what it looks like a bit of unboxing so before you buy it you can kind of actually have a, have a look at what is in the box uh, if you like my content please press the like button if you're not already a subscriber please subscribe to my channel and help me grow um, thank you very much and let's get on with the unboxing so this is how it comes um, in a very compact box and um, like any other high high-end product every set specification that you would expect is on the box itself so um, like I described, so color night vision, 2K video, two-way audio, integrated spotlight, fast and easy wire, free setup, built-in siren, 160 viewing angle. So uh, my doorbell is 90, so it has a really narrow angle, which I don't really like. But unfortunately, all the one on the market is 90. Now this camera 160, so there will be distortion. At the edge of the camera so everything looks a bit rounded but it does give you the field of view so one camera can cover a lot more angle which i really want to test out today uh, magnetic charging so uh, fast charging cable easy snap into place so i'm not sure what that means um, but i'm going to show you guys later on a rechargeable battery obviously this is a complete wire free system so let's open the box and um, show you guys what is in there I have to fast forward this bit. Oh. Okay, so that's what it looks like. It's tiny. Look at that. How cute. So that's the camera lens. That's the spotlight. Microphone. Sensor. Speaker, I guess. And that's uh, the magnetic mount. It's just fantastic. It looks so small. How do you get this one out? Okay, it's like a tray. What is this? Alright, so some instruction stuff, leaflets. Oh, this is the charger. Some screws and fixing for the wall. Oh, so this is a mount. So this kind of go on the ceiling or go on the, go on the wall and you can adjust. Okay, there's one of that. This must be the charging cable. Oh, so this is how you connect the cable to the camera. Um, base station come with a uh, UK three pin plug. Ah, oh, so so okay. So you got a power brick for your uh, router, and then this is kind of a USB outlet charging for your camera batteries, and you got an Ethernet cable for connecting the base unit to your router yeah so this is the kind of mount for your camera so you mount this onto the wall or ceiling and then this kind of sits on top like that um, for some reason they only give you two magnet one I guess this is for the higher up location where they can't get access to it and um, this is the one which you connect I think you've got one mount 
magnetic mount, two magnetic mount, and the third one is kind of a physical one that you have to screw in to the rear of your arrow camera like that. Why did they not come with three? I don't understand. Anyway, that's it is what it is. Okay, so this is the battery, and they are 4,800 milliamps hour. Charging voltage is 4.4. So this is kind of slightly bigger battery than in your cell phone. This is the instruction for setting it up, and there is only three steps. Connect the power adapter and Ethernet cable to your base, base unit. So power and Ethernet cable. So at this stage, you need to figure out where is your router and just plug it in. And then you have to download the Arrow app, Arrow, and you have to download the Arlo app and follow the instruction. And then you put the battery in the camera. And that's the end of the installation. Okay, so first screen is either log in or create a current. Now this is the first time I use this product, so create an account. So I'm in the app already, so it's not that difficult, um, providing you are good with your phone and registration and all that. So select your Arrow device. So I'm here, I have cameras so you got different models so mine is a pro and it's a pro 3 and then just follow the instructions so you see here plugging the internet cable into your base station so let's do that okay continue looking for your arrow device so it's now searching for this Thing. Oh, so Smart Hub found. It does take a few uh, minutes, but um, yeah, it works. So we say here, uh, name your Smart Hub. So what would name? Benson. Okay, firmware has been updated finally. Uh, let's press continue because I really want to start. Uh, insert battery into each of the arrow camera. Now it does show you how to do it. So you have picture and it shows you what to do with it, so I'm going to do it now. But so far, nothing is happening yet, because we still have to wait for the system to set up, I think. So battery goes in, close the case. Okay, so three cameras, batteries in there, so press continue. So now it changed to looking for your arrow camera. So your arrow camera is now active. You are, we have installed the software, we have the base station ready, we have updated the firmware, now we have to update the cameras. So it is now 12.05, so about half an hour, maybe 40 minutes into unboxing and starting the setup process I have the app installed all three cameras are now connected um, one very important thing about what happened in the last 5-10 minutes is that all the camera needs to be updating the firmware but what I find is instead of updating in one go into the latest firmware it updates to the next one and then the next one and the next one so I have to press update firmware three times on those cameras um, you can do them all at once in the app, but be patient, just press it, press it, press it until they are ready to use. And the next screen will be, uh, you can set your activity um, zone system, because um, the system doesn't record 24-7, it only records when they see active activity. I think that is why the battery lasts longer than, you know, I expected. So three to six months between charge. Um, if you're constantly recording and transmitting data, I don't think that will work. So it only um, only start to transmit video to the base station and to the cloud system only when it detect movement. So if you're looking for something which record 24/7, I'm not sure if this will be the thing for you. Um, the other thing is it come with like a, a subscription free. Uh, when you buy the product, when it runs out, you have to pay £7.99 to pay monthly for your footage to store on the cloud. If your, your house has been burgled and they take away the 
base system where you record the video, then your footage is gone. Um, what this allows you to do is um, store it on the cloud system, so whenever you need it's kind of a backup system, they can pick up the cloud. If you don't want to pay that system, once a subscription runs out, all you need to do is plug in a USB stick to the back of the device, and then go into the app and change the setting in the base system. And it allows you to um, locally store all the information that you have on um, the activations. So in order to charge the battery in the camera, you don't take the battery out. All you need to do is with the magnetic cable. As long as it can provide two amperes, you should charge it up. So all you need to do is just line up the line up the magnet and the charging port, and that's it. It clicks into place. Kind of on the on the app, it will show you the little like an electric icon on the battery to show that it is charging. I'm already charged up my number three, so it takes about I think um, 30 to 40 minutes from 50% to uh, 96 or 99%. So it doesn't take that long to um, charge up. Many people ask the question is how long does the battery last? It all depends. Depends on how often it get activated. Um, it depends on if you have the spotlight on or not because that will draw extra power and uh, how much activation that you get. Obviously the more the camera is in use and sending signal to the base unit, um, the more battery life you will use. I will put an update video once I use it for let's say three months or six months so you guys will know. So far I'm really impressed with the camera, it's easy to set up and um, it worked well within my home network. I haven't sussed out the rest of the function yet but I encounter one major flaw with this product. Now the Arrow Pro 3, this is the third generation but it looks like there's something that they haven't really addressed properly which is how are you going to secure this so no one actually nick your camera? The problem is the one that I want to mount just above my front door. So um, basically the door, um, you can see whoever is in front of the door, is within arm's length of reach. So if people walk past your house and see one of these cameras on the door, they can easily just go there and uh, rip it out of the mount or just unscrew the back because the mods that come with um, the thing either is the magnetic one, which is two of them, stick on, so it's easy to remove. So I guess this is where you want to uh, mount the camera that you have easy access, but the, the thief doesn't. But above the door, let's say we use this one here, basically all you do is just twist on the mount, okay? And let's say this, the other side is uh, screwed into the wall. Now, if it is within arm's length of reach, all they need to do is, you know, reach behind it and, and twist the plastic and then take the camera away. So a replacement camera costs £277. So this little camera costs 200 quid. No, hold on, 300 quid. If I mount it above the door where someone can just easily remove, I don't care if they can use this or not, okay? It might be linking to my account already so no one here can use it. But there are some people out there who's good to nick it. And it's such a disappointment to see a company that didn't spend time thinking about security where <clears throat> you can easily have, let's say, a built-in a, um, a hole here where you can attach a security wire. Maybe the wire can use some hard fixing onto um, the wall. How are you going to secure this camera so that no one can take it away? I don't understand. This is like, you know, am I going to drill through the case? Maybe I can, I don't know, because, but if I spend 700 quid on a security system, I don't expect anyone to be able to just remove my camera easily. So, if you look inside, there is metal plate at the back there. I don't know if there is space, but even if, if the manufacturer, Formaro, drew a hole through this, maybe two small holes here, so you can access the back, but then it won't be weatherproof anymore, so it has to be weatherproof, but they can easily add a mount, uh, some kind of a security mount here, so you can chain it or you can secure it onto the wall. I have checked on the online to see what other people is using. So there are some aftermarket products for the Arrow 2, but not for the 3, because this is the latest generation. So I don't think anyone have um, made it a third party thing yet. So if it is the version 2, at least you get an option to like buy something like a plastic casing 
and then the casing has a chain which is attached to the mount. So Alo, please, if you are watching this video, think about the user who is going to place it above the door. We are not going to spend £200 on an extra camera to replace it. And even if we do replace it when someone stolen it, you know, why? I don't understand. So please, 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 please bring out a mount that we can do. And I don't want to buy aftermarket. I want to buy your company product. So, you know, even if you can bring out a mount which is recently repriced, I'm more than happy to pay for it. The camera is installed over there. If I zoom back in here, so basically we are quite far away from the camera and the station is in the computer room. So this is actually through two brick walls and it's about 15 meters away. And I um, don't know if you can see. Yeah, so this is the testing part of the camera. Uh, signal video bandwidth is strong, so I have no problem um, putting it over there. Okay, so yeah, so basically the camera is looking at us here. Don't know if I can can wave. So yeah. So you can also set up it as an alarm system. So for example, you can activate um, the siren if it is on the motion sensor, but just test out the, how the sound is like. So this, you hear that? It's loud, but it's not insanely loud. But it's definitely enough to uh, annoy your neighbors. So um, if someone came in, trigger the alarm. So that's what it sounds like. So just to show you guys a close up of how to install the mount, uh, the magnetic one. This is my last camera to be installed and I want it to go into this piece of wood. Now, if you're going to the wall or ceiling, then you have to draw a hole for the wall plug. Um, this one here, I'm going to draw directly into the wood. Lift it over and slide it under it. Okay, I drew it a bit too far. There we go. Right, so I'm outside my house at the moment. So the entrance is over there, somewhere, yeah, somewhere there. So camera is installed, so this is a good idea to test it out. So I'm gonna slowly walk towards my front door. So I set the zone to about here. So um, about here that you should start. So I'm gonna keep talking so that I wanna test out the microphone on the camera itself and see if we will actually detect so by now I'm actually on my drive and this is exactly where I need the CCTV camera to record. So hopefully that is recording me and my voice. So as we go closer to the door, right here. So this is where usually you get your postman or you know the um, people selling you stuff right over here trying to sell it to you. So I'm looking at the door. I've already got a doorbell with a video camera. And now you can see there's two camera right here. So that's the old one. I done a review on that a couple of years ago. And then you have the new Arlo Pro 3. Um, not sure if it works or not, but later on we can check. It's a 2K video, so it should be quite clear. Now, as I open the door, let's go inside and close the door behind me. Okay, so wait for the camera to be back. So my second camera is actually up there. there. And the detection zone is set to the door right here. So as soon as I walk through the door, you should pick up that I have activated the camera. So there you go. Um, and I'm speaking to the camera. I'm sure that that camera should be picking up my voice as well. How well is the audio? I won't know until I actually go into the footage. So this is a night performance test. So I'm at my doorstep. I think the floodlight just turned on. So this is the night time. I don't know if you can see my face, but there we are. So this is my front door. 
and pretty dark. Got a street light, got one light. It's a nighttime test in the garden. Pretty dark, but the street light is on, so you can see the day. So we're back at my computer table here. Um, all three cameras is installed. I have one looking over my driveway, looking at my car and entrance. I have one looking at my front door, so when we open the door, we can see what's going on. And we have one outside in the garden. Um, everything is set up. It took me about an hour or two hours. I think most of the time was actually spent on looking at the best angle for the camera itself. Now to mount the camera onto the base uh, is quite easy, it's only like screws that you need to screw into the wall or the wood and um, adjusting the mount is quite easy because some of them are magnetic so you can have a lot of movement where you want to move it, it's quite easy to adjust. Um, once you download the app, I have the app downloaded on my iPad, I have the app downloaded on my Android phone and I also enable the skill on Alexa. So, um, you can actually voice call my Echo Show 8 to show the cameras, which I'm going to show you guys right now. Echo, show me garden. Okay. Echo, show me entrance. Okay. I do like that, you know, when you tell them to switch to a certain camera, it will show you the the camera picture previously, like on catch. Echo? Stop. So whenever the camera receives like a uh, motion, it will take a snapshot and it will come up on the alert on your phone to tell you that this camera is activated like kind of in the, in real time. So as soon as it detects something, it will come up on your phone. Now, as long as you have the app and you actually set it up on your devices, then it will actually show you in all your devices. And um, you can have it on your iPad, you can have it on your phone. So here is all the recorded footage um, during my installation. Sorry about the reflection from my ring ring light, but um, I try my, try my best. So, yeah, here, so for example, you can review your video in 2K. So this is the alerts that you saw just now on the phone. I have to say that although this is a 2K cam camera, but the compression rate is quite high. I don't know if they purposely do that to save battery or to save uh, the recorder space, but I think there is a waste of um, good quality camera. Because the compression rate is so high, so, um, sometimes the video is quite mushy. Um, at 750 pounds, I expect a bit more. Um, there is no option to adjust like video quality. I think the maximum for the Pro 3 is 2 megabit per second or something like that. So I already set my camera to the best quality. So it will use a lot of battery, um, but it, it, at, at, at the other hand, it gives you the best uh, video um, quality. By all means it's not bad, but I just wanted a bit more. Um, I'm not sure how they can adjust that, but maybe a firmware update. So this will be the end of my review video for the Allo Pro 3 CCTV system. Um, fantastic system, easy to set up. There are a bit of um, niggle I don't like. For example, I would like to see a secure mount um, on the market for this camera so no one can just nick your camera and secondly there are a bit of delay between like um, asking the program to show the camera not really a deal breaker but you have to wait about five seconds and something like that and there are a little bit of delay as well um, between the video and your and your feed um, obviously the signal has to go through the base station to the network and then to your phone um, a lot of things can affect that, so your internet speed and the server speed and all that. Um, what else do I don't like about it? But that's about it. Um, overall, a very good CCTV system. 
you don't need anyone to come and install it for you you can do it yourself now the only part which i haven't really tested out will be the battery life obviously i do need to run it for a certain amount of time so um, i did charge them up to like you know 96 percent or 100 percent before um, i installed them so it will be a good indication to see how fast the battery dies i expect the one at the front entrance will be the one which get drained the quickest because there is lots of motion uh, detection over there because it's a highly commuted area the one in the garden will probably last the longest thank you very much for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you next time thank you very much bye bye